fruit adventure. Uh, I have my land here. This is an ackee tree I planted last uh, year, actually about two years ago now, maybe a year and a half. And I wanted to show an example of the chop and drop I have here. So this is the Mexican sunflower, Tethonia. These over there is the ice cream bean. And you can tell by the intermittent leaf. And I want to show you an example. This leaf in the middle between them. That's the ice cream bean and makes a delicious bean. And it's a leguminous nitrogen fixing plant. And this one is called Flamingia. It's got these three leaves. And so when it grows high, this is probably a bit too high even. You can chop and drop it. So I like to bend it like this and then cut it carefully. And then I put it here, which is a mandarin, a grafted mandarin. And we want a big mulch circle for it to grow large. Also about a year and a half, same time as the other one. A little too close for the other uh, trees, but I planted it when I didn't know about spacing so well. And there's even some weeds here, you can chop and drop those. Alright, thanks for visiting Fruit Adventure Boris. This is my land up at Fruit Haven. Check it out. <laughs> Fruit Adventure Boris coming live. Well, it's not live, but we have the black sapote. Our neighbors don't have it. This is super ripe when you know that it's like soft as a persimmon. It's in the persimmon family, in fact. It's got this top part that lifted, so that's why we know to pick it. And it's soft enough to break with your hands, but I'm gonna use a knife just to share it with everybody at Fruit Haven. Okay, let's open it up. Looks like a brownie. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, let's give it a taste. It's alright. 